Hey friends, how are you doing? So this is your buddy Stable, and today we are going to see how to install Apache Web Server. So before we start off, as you guys know, Apache Web Server is one of the popular web server used all over the world. It's free of cost, and uh, Web Server is nothing but a server on which it is like you run your website or web pages. So without further ado, let's get started. So first it is like we are going to download Apache Web Server directly from the official website. So you just search for Apache Web Server on your browser. So just, just go to this page, the very first page, which is httpd.apache.org. So we are going inside that. And uh, so you can click this download so here and it is like it says it is like what is the latest version which is 2.4.5.6 don't click this thing uh, so this is not going to redirect you to the um download page so instead where you what you have to do is so you have to click here to download from some third party windows uh so i'm going to download for microsoft windows so i'm just clicking that so it's gonna redirect to some other page. So these were some popular vendors from where you can download the Apache web server. So I'm just, you can just click any one of those. So I'm just going to click Apache launch. And uh, you have to check uh, whether it is 64 bit or 32 bit, which you are going to run. So in my case, I'm going to use Apache uh, for it as like 64 bit. And the latest version, which we can see is 2.4.5.6. So I'm gonna click this. So ta -da, this file is getting downloaded. I guess it got, it's completed. Let me open that file. So Okay, so I have opened this file. The next thing which you have to do is you have to extract this thing. So let me just uh, extract this in the downloads folder itself. Okay, and if you go inside this file, you will be uh, you will be seeing it is like three different files. Uh, this is the mail for file it is like which contains all the installation and configuration related information for the server. So if you want to go want to go through the readme, yeah, you can just go through it, and uh, yeah. It just it is like tells you, uh, like what are all the commands which you have to uh, run on your command prompt to install the service. Okay, so uh, we will see this later. So uh, the next important thing which you guys, which I want you guys to do is that you have to click in this link, and uh, this episode is like really really important. You have to copy this Apache twenty four folder. And uh, so right now it is in downloads folder. You have to put this inside your C drive. This is a very important step, guys, because what happens is that um, there is a configuration file within this Apache which expects uh, this particular all uh, Apache related files within C drive. If not, you will be running into some uh, path related uh, errors, SRV root, which we can it is like discuss in detail on another video. Okay, for now, to uh, uh, you just let us like copy this file over here. Okay, so fine. So now what we are going to do is that we are going to it is like in, uh, install this Apache web server as service in Windows. So for that, what you have to do, you go to this Apache and you go to this bin file and within this, there is a file application called HTTPD. So this is what which we are going to uh, install. Uh, so this, we are going to install it from the command prompt. So now what you have to do is open the command prompt. And another, the second most important thing is this command prompt has to be opened as an administrator. Okay. So I have opened the command prompt as an administrator. So, and the next thing is you have to so in order to it is like run this particular file we have to be on this particular path so copy this click control c and paste it over here so change directory cd uh, stands for change directory and press control v Ta -da. okay so we are inside this folder and the command which you have to run to install this apache web server 
uh, as a service in Windows is httpd hyphen k install. Okay, so uh, I'm not it is like a uh, pressing enter. So before that, I just want you guys to show something which is services. Uh, so services dot msc. So services is nothing, just an app inside uh, in uh, Microsoft which shows all active services which were installed and running. So here, and if you see it is like, uh, you don't see the Apache server. So ideally it will be, it should be shown at uh, somewhere here. So since we haven't even installed it, it is not showing over here. After installing, I will show you where, uh, uh, where it is like, it will show that Apache server. Okay, so now going back. So now I'm going to install it. Okay, so you can see it says installing the Apache service 2.4 and it says the service is successfully installed. So Apache 2.4 is actually just a service uh, which we are installing. So it says service is successfully installed, good. Uh, and it is testing and uh, it doesn't throw any error. Uh, so if there, is, if there was any error, we have to like look into it. But for, for now you consider it successfully installed. Now if I open services.msc, let me close and open this thing services services okay okay see you guys can see this apache.2.4 successfully installed okay but it is not it started you can see it is like the status if you see over here the status it is like it, it's not saying it is running so now we are going to run this so after running uh uh okay so when if you want to start the service you have just have to click start the service at the left side so how we are going to test this is uh so there is a special ip address called 127.0.0.1 which you all guys might know it is called local host so it's nothing but it is not pointing to any uh, uh device on it is like internet instead it is just pointing inward to your own local pc uh so this is the uh, local host people now commonly call it as local host so this is the ip which normally people would use to run uh, or test their website or web pages so if i run this now you can see it says the site can't be reached because we are not having it as like a, um, uh, having it like a, a web server running so now i am going to start the service so i have i'm starting so you can see it is successfully started. You can see the status is running. Now, if I go and run this page, see, it says it works, which means our Apache web server is successfully running. And uh, this is nothing but uh, just uh, there is there, there is an inbuilt HTML file these uh, guys have loaded. And um, it reads that HTML file and displays this content. So you can just inspect that thing as well from here. So. You can just right click and click inspect and then uh, if you go to the sources uh, the file is index.html this is one of the most common uh, file uh, index.html is a starting point where website starts to run most of the websites so this is the content of the file it says it works so even if you want to uh, modify it you can where you can go is you can go to apache 24 so build is the folder where on it is like that httpd service was located so you have to go to HTT docs here in the index.html file is there. So let me open it with notepad plus plus. So I'm just saying stable successfully modified the file. So I'm gonna save it. <coughs> Let me uh, rerun it. Okay, where was the Chrome? Okay, so I'm just going to rerun it. See, now that I have modified the index.html file and uh, you can also see it reflecting over here. So that's it guys. And uh, yeah, before we wrap up, I'll also show you it is like if you want to uninstall this service, stopping is a different thing. Uh, so stopping is just if you can click the stop the service, So stopping and, uh, and uh, display completely uninstalling the service is two different things. So let me just uh, first stop the service. And after that, we will try to 
uh, hit the local host that is 127.0.0.1. Uh, okay, wait, it's taking this much time. <laughs> Kindly bear with me, guys. Normally, it won't take this much time. Okay, it's successfully stopped. Now, if you go and uh, just like reload this page, yeah, it says the site can't be reached, but the service is a dislike still there. If you want to dislike uninstall the service as well, it is very simple. You just have to dislike, go to the same path. Uh, so you, I hope you remember the command which we used to install the Apache web server. So in the same command, you just add uninstall and ta -da, that's it. It says has been successfully removed. Uh, let me close and open this. So see, guys, it's like if you see over here, previously Apache used to sit here and it is like now the service itself is completely uninstalled. Okay, guys, hope uh, uh, you guys found this video really useful. If you like this video, give a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And uh, feel free to comment if you have any queries. Keep supporting, guys. Thank you.